stacking on tons of jewelry and accessories doesn't sound like that much fun in the summer when you're kind of just dripping in sweat but guess what? Sometimes fashion is about sacrifices. So I'm going to show you guys six of my favorite ways to accessorize the season. I'm going to start off with crystals. Now, there's a lot of literature which say that crystals, like quartz, contain healing properties. But I think it's okay to be a skeptic because there isn't any conclusive evidence that it's true. Either way, I think it's a fun way to just jazz up any outfit. And I like to mix and match my crystals with other necklaces. This one is from a mom and pop local Tibetan store. And my next one is a green fluorite one from Regal Rose. Next, I've got a bird one from Karma Loop. And lastly, I've got this fun shaped metal necklace from PacSun. Now, I like to wear all my raw candy on just a minimal background, aka a plain white dress. And this one's cool because of the exposed side, because that way you can just mix and match fun bralettes for a edgy vibe. And mine is from Brandy Melville. To match with the cage bralette, I went for these cage gladiators from Jeffrey Campbell. They've got this really sparkly mirror buckle that just flashes in the sun. And I can already tell you that these are going to be my go-to summer shoes. Every girl needs a pair of big black sunnies to one, avoid unwanted eye contact, and two, to throw over your eyes on a lazy day. And if you want to add a bit of sass, try some cat eye shades. And my outfit here is something that's very polished and sophisticated, something I would wear hanging out with the family or maybe a work party or something. And my snakeskin top is from Lorne May Bandits. And my bottoms are these amazing pleated skorts. And I think the pleats make something so juvenile, like a pair of skorts, into something that is incredibly refined. And for shoes, I picked out my ivory buckled heels that have that asymmetrical heel for a fresh feel. I feel like a boater hat has been one of my summer essentials since 09, but I guess some things don't really change. This one is from H&M, but I actually bought it off my friend because it's just laying around her closet. And it's one of the best buys I've ever made because a boater hat looks amazing with little floral dresses. I think it's because of that nice contrast it has. You're basically wearing something wonderfully feminine with an item that is quintessentially masculine. And the end result is something that feels really balanced and not gimmicky at all. For shoes, I wore one of my favorite heels. If you've seen my minimalist heel video, these are no surprise to you. And on my lips, I'm wearing a splash of this rich peach color by MAC. Gold is a metal that looks divine on tan skin, which is probably why I busted out during the summertime. And the trick with gold is you don't want to pile on too much or else it might look like you landed on some crazy pirate treasure or something. And I like to mix and match my jewelry with different shapes, textures, colors, and when I'm wearing rings, I like to play with the different levels on my hand. So I use a mixture between midi rings and normal rings to have an awesome feel. And on my earrings, I'm wearing these Eye of Raw ones from Urban Outfitters. And this is my complete outfit. At a glance, it might look a little bit professional due to the blazer, but when I take it off, it looks like I'm ready to party. <laughs> And I'm wearing a dotted crop tank and a zipper slit skirt from the editor's market. And to enhance the color of the gold, I'm wearing my tan Jeffrey Campbells. Pins are an excellent way to add pizzazz to anything, and I think they look great on lapels. I got this smiley face one from eBay, and the triangle one was a freebie from when my friend Becca did her gallery showing. And I picked out this hilarious Bushnerigan pin at a flea market, and it came with the doodles. So obviously someone was extremely dissatisfied with their term. And I added all these pins on an old vest that I got at Goodwill. It was actually a vest dress, and I cut it into something 
of normal length and now it's one of my favorite thrifted pieces. Underneath that vest, I'm wearing a super soft piece of nothing shirt that says sedate the masses. And for my bottoms, I just went loud and proud with my blue paisley printed pants. These just take my outfit to the next level and I'm loving every second of it. And for my shoes, I chose my black ankle strap booties for extra height and I'm wearing ravishing on my lips. Snapbacks have this uncanny ability to make anything you're wearing to something very tomboyish. I got this Suicidal Tendencies cap from eBay. And no, no, I'm not suicidal. It's a punk slash metal band formed in the 80s. You should check them out, let me know what you think, and then get me a Pepsi. And I paired this cap with what else? A dress. And I just like the way it looks. And also, if you stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you guys how you can win this paisley dress that you can rock and twirl around all summer. So congratulations for another sneaky giveaway. And lastly, I wore my Deandries because they kind of look like a cracked out sneaker heel, which I love. So here are the rules for the giveaway. It's gonna be on Instagram. So rule one, you're gonna follow the editor's market. Rule number two, you're gonna see a picture of me wearing this dress on my Instagram and you're just gonna like that. No need to comment or anything, just like it and follow the Instagram of the Editor's Market. Pretty simple, in case you didn't know what my account was, it's I'm Jen M. you can follow me there if you'd like and I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next time, bye.